Unreal Engine 5.1 is here, and it brings a more extensive, robust, and accessible toolset for media and entertainment pipelines. From virtual production with in-camera VFX to animated projects and high-octane live broadcasts and events. Here are just some of the highlights. If you're a stage operator working in fast-paced, high-pressure environments, you'll welcome the new dedicated in-camera VFX editor that supports a range of workflows specifically tailored for your tasks. The editor also presents a preview of the in-display wall and the light cards on it, so you can easily create, move and edit them, and save templates. Color corrections are critical to LED stage workflows, so the editor also provides access to new color correction windows, like power windows in gradient applications. You can also apply color corrections per actor, which reduces the need for complex masking. The virtual camera system is now more responsive and reliable, thanks to the fact that it's been refactored to use Epic's pixel streaming tech under the hood. We've also updated the UI with a modern camera focused design that will be more familiar to camera operators. Remember when it took tens of clicks to add an EXR sequence or a movie file to a level or sequencer track? With Unreal Engine 5.1, you can simply drag and drop footage from the content browser to a new media plate actor. You can also now play back mitmapped and tiled uncompressed EXRs, both in engine and with in display with the appropriate SSD RAID. Lumen now offers initial support for in display. An indirect lighting adapts on the fly when you change the sun's angle, adjust lights, or position bounce cards. So no need to interrupt production to bake lights. So for more complex setups that require more lights, we've also made improvements to GPU light mass, including support for more features and improved quality and performance. For anyone dealing with animated content, particularly of characters, Unreal Engine 5.1 offers some worthy advancements to the built-in animation authoring toolset. Now in beta, the Machine Learning Deformer lets you generate high-fidelity approximations of complex, custom, or arbitrary deformation rigs from Maya that execute in real-time in Unreal Engine. Things like flexing muscles, bulging veins, and sliding skin. In this example, we see a linear deformation on the left and the ML deformation that has been trained on the right. On another front, control work continues to expand toward fully procedural rigging, with new events that mean you can generate rig hierarchies via a graph and create and trigger rig events. With these updates, you can create a single control rig asset and use it for characters with different skeletal proportions and properties. Along with an updated UI UX and increased stability and extensibility, Sequencer now has support for constraints. These let you quickly and easily create and animate relationships between any control rig or actors. For example, making a camera always follow a character, or keeping a character's hands on a steering wheel. These are just some of the highlights of what's new for media and entertainment pipelines in Unreal Engine 5.1. You can find out more on our What's New page, where you'll also find a link to download the release if you're a new user. Otherwise, it's available right from your Epic Games launcher. Enjoy!